just bear with me one moment just while I move this. The camera's moved, hasn't it? It's not good. Just stay there, please. It doesn't want to stay where I put it. It might be a bit wobbly, I'm sorry. Forewarned. <clears throat> good morning, good morning. Good morning. Let me just stick the ads and then I can see where we are. Oh, you've got you've got a nice view of the um what do you call it? <laughs> stand hang on one moment i've got things are a little bit different <laughs> so what i see on my camera is not what comes up on the screen but there we go i've zoomed in a bit and hopefully that will be better it's not that better is it really never mind i'll move move to to fix it <laughs> morning margie morning many how is everybody long time no see I hope that's clear enough for you guys. I've got a different camera because the other one um, it's not working. So I'm using my iPad. <laughs> so I hope you can hear me okay. Hi Charlie. Can If someone could say if they can hear me, because I've got no idea. No idea. Unless I turn the volume up on this and you'll get like a um, big um, feedback thing. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi Susan. Oh, all systems go. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> I hope it's clear enough. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I started talking and I got a cough. Right. I hope it's clear enough. This is my um I'm gonna paint some more orchids this morning. My son bought his girlfriend some lovely white orchids for Valentine's Day and they're up in the um upstairs kitchen and they look lovely um it inspired me to do this the other was it last wednesday <coughs> yeah i zoomed in because i had the um how about like that <laughs> is that better i hope so <coughs> um what was i saying yeah look, last wednesday i did this um a bit closer a bit <laughs> a bit nearer a bit closer it's going to wobble a bit because my ipad um holder is wibbly wobbly so is it better like that <laughs> or nearer i don't know if to zoom in or zoom out anyway i'll start painting anyway and if you want to see closer i can zoom in because i have a choice on this on my ipad i can zoom in and out so um <laughs> I can see wobble away i spend my whole life wobbling around right okay so i'm going to do something a bit like this not exactly the same. And this is only using, <clears throat> let me think, how many colours I've got. I always remember the colours after I use them. Well, sort of. I've got <laughs> um, Luna Black from Daniel Smith. I've got Quinacridone <laughs> Yellow. Or was it gold? Quinacridone Gold from Winter and Newton and Daniel Smith. And I have Sap green and a daniel smith green which i don't know what it's called it's on my palette somewhere under here one of these ones what is it oh it's a van gogh green and dusky yellow by van gogh as well i'm gonna buy some tubes of those <laughs> hi kim oh it's nice to see everybody here hello hello if i've forgotten to say hello to anybody i'm sorry <laughs> I've forgotten how to do this and then my camera hasn't been working so um I've um this is this book because so we'll just flip through this whilst I'm here. Quick flip through before I start. I need to um I've got my paint mojo back anyway guys. Um I didn't really lose my watercolour mojo, I've been watercolouring, but I've been um painting like a crazy person my other stuff and it's really good feeling my studio is just like full of stuff and it's really nice and oh, it's just good it's a good feeling i've got that urge back um this is the paper i'll be using today it's a bit dirty but who cares this is a langton cold pressed paper it's 140 pounds and it's like a3 size which is what size is that in does it say on here 42 by 9, 29 centimetres. There we go, A3 size. 
I know you don't use um, the A sizes in um, the US or D. <laughs> Because um, I always say, oh, A4 size, A3 size. And but when I say A4, A4, this is a quick guide to um, A sizes. <laughs> A4 is like half an A3, so it'd be like letter size. And then A3 is two A4s. Then A2 is two A3 size. And A1 is two A2 size, if that makes sense. Oh, thank you, Minnie. Yeah, I think that I think that's what I did in that thing because I just mix everything all together anyway. It just sort of ends up a big blob in that. <laughs> that dusk yellow. Yes, I like that. I'm going to buy a big tube of it if I can. I'm going to, to, to spend. I bought some um, supplies. Um, someone very kindly sent me a lovely gift bag and it had a bit of money in it and some prezzies and some lovely quotes. Thank you, Barbara. And um, I spent the money on some supplies and it was really lovely. It made me cry when I received the gift. I was like, oh. <laughs> she's so lovely. A lovely lady. Hello if you're watching. <laughs> Hi, Rosalie. Hello, 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 hello. I'm scared to start. I feel like I haven't done this for ages. I feel, I feel I feel pressured. I'm, I just put my book away and I need to look at it because I'm sort of copying what he did. So I'm just get this back out. I don't know where to start. You know that fear, fear of starting something. <laughs> I hope the light's okay. I haven't got any any special equipment here. It's just an iPad. <laughs> just my iPad. Right. Where do I start? By painting the um. The petals on the oh hang on I've got a photo up and you can't see it oh I've lost it <laughs> I've got a photo up of some pictures I took of the orchids look at that so I'm going just I'm just going for it <laughs> yeah that I've got a uh, a vlog I've decided that I'm not going to do my Mitzi Mondays because I get in the zone and I would find it really hard to paint live on Mitzi Mondays. <laughs> but I still paint on Mitzi Mondays. Um, I'm just using some dirt from my watercolour palette. <laughs> when I say dirt, I mean the um, just a mixture of um, whatever's there makes a nice icky colour. It's... It's the dirt that you're told not to make when you watercolour, you know. Don't make your palette muddy. Who cares? Mud's good. <laughs> Try and keep it fresh and clean. Yeah, okay. That doesn't work. <laughs> I, I scare people with my palette, I know. Yeah, you all, everyone wants a nice clean one like this, don't you, with just a few colours. I can't paint like that. <laughs> I find it really difficult. Oh, thank you, Kim. Yeah, I've, I've just, I'm, I stick a bit of this quinacridone, I never know how to say it, <laughs> quinacridone, quinacridone gold. I love it. And these are the middles of the um, orchids. So there we go, we've got four orchids going on here. And I'm just going to slap some paint up. This brush seems really small. I've been like slapping paint over canvases and not watercolouring. And it's a really different way of painting. <laughs> Big brushes. And then I'm, I'm coming back to this and going, oh, uh, hang on a moment. I feel a bit lost. Let's get the shape of, they have like one big petal, two big butterfly wings, as I call them for the orchids. And then a wiggly mid orbit which is quite nice. I hope you can sort of see this. It's just, I hope the shadow's not annoying. I've just got my normal lights on. So I'm just starting off by slapping down some mud. <laughs> I think this is a bit bold of me, isn't it, doing a... Um, 
a big A3 watercolour painting from my first time back. And then I've got a... <laughs> for a while. I so said, just go for it, mate. Right, greens. I've got like a slider pet. I need um, some people to make like a, a three-tiered palette that doesn't touch. That you can slide it backwards and forwards. Any brand that's listed. <laughs> yeah, like that's going to put people off painting in watercolour. <laughs> I need to make my own palettes. <laughs> I like this one, but I can't um, find where I got it from. And I have not seen one since. Okay, this, if anyone's wondering what I've just done there, that's um, a the, the stem. <laughs> Morning, Stephen. I'll see if you to pop in. He pretends he's here, it's not really. <laughs> Is that a clear picture? It's it's my iPad. <laughs> Is it clearer than my other camera? I think we might just stick to doing it on this from now on. It's quite easy. I don't have to have a code or anything. That's a slick mate. Right, and now just to frighten everybody. <laughs> They're my flowers. <laughs> Morning, Susan. Did I say hello to you? <laughs> I don't know if I've got that. Let's scoop that up a little bit. Right, now I'm going to scare everybody by just doing some really dark green. I, I think this is Luna Black here, but I don't know, it might not be. I forget what I put in my palette. I just think, oh, that's that nice green there, and that's that nice pink there, and that's that nice yellow, and I forget what they're called. It's very professional of me. Right. Now, now I'm, you'll be seeing me doing negative painting, which is where you sort of paint around something that you imagine's there. If you get the drift. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to keep these stems in, which I didn't have before, which might be a bit difficult when the have them. Ooh, that's a nice green. I don't know what green that is. I'm just like, oh yeah, that's that nice green. <laughs> Let's do that there. I might mix a bit of um, ultramarine blue in with these ones today. Because I can. Just for the background. Because I'm going to do the background quite dark. But I don't want it all green. Ziggy turning into a snowball. <laughs> Do some like wet into wet on the background and then it will look like this. Like distance, distance. <laughs> oh, I don't want it to um To lose what I've already got there, but there we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Margie. See you later. Yeah, you can catch up on it later. It will will upload hopefully. I now I've taken some of the live paintings down because um, I don't know. It's weird since I haven't been painting every day. I've got more subscribers. <laughs> I don't know how the algorithms work. It's very strange. I keep wondering what I'm doing wrong. The algorithms do not like me because <laughs> I'm not a, um, I think they like consistency in planning. 
I'm not very good at consistency and planning, as everybody knows. I just like pop on here when I feel like it. I try and keep to a schedule, but it is a bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Melanie. I can't can't imagine that. My my dog just he stuck he just sort of Cyril just is just like a I don't know, a clean dog. <laughs> and he doesn't get when he goes out in the snow doesn't get covered in it. He comes in. He could go out for a walk on like the muddiest of days and um he'll come in and he'll be the cleanest one. <laughs> he's just like a, a clean boy he's always like looks pristine with his short fur <laughs> I've lost what I've done here but there oh yeah and I'm sorry I licked my brush then no brush licking um Mr Blotting's gonna come out for this painting I think <laughs> I love this here that you, you can't get that you can't get that with <laughs> with um Thingy paint, what paint do you want to say? Acrylics or anything else or gouache, it does not work. <laughs> you, you don't get that nice splidgy splodgy thing. I'm trying to make it look like there's things in the background whilst still painting around the, the petals, keeping the whites, the whites white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Blotting's uh, Mr. Blotting's had a hard time. I quite like it though. <laughs> just put a bit of blue in there just to match that corner down there. One tip I was given by my art teacher many years ago was if you've got a bit of colour in one corner diagonally, go across and put it in the other corner. I don't know if it's like a thing, <laughs> but it seems to work. <laughs> you want it like going diagonally across your painting. Uh, if I put a bit of blue in here as well, it's, it sort of leads the eye across it, should I say. <laughs> Cyril just turns into a Newfoundland when he's in bed, takes up all the room, and then growls if you try and move him and bites your toes. <laughs> right. So if I'm heavy breathing, I've noticed. <laughs> My sister always picks up on it as well. Uh, she always makes, takes the piss out of me. When I'm concentrating, I breathe really heavy. <laughs> like really heavy. <laughs> like a serial killer breathing. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> but I'm trying to get some like leaf shapes and stems and things whilst it's a bit wet the background. And then I will um I will come in and do the shadows and details on the orchids. So you can see what's what and what's where. I think but my computer's decided it doesn't want to play. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is supposed to be a quick painting this morning. I don't think it's going to be. Oh, stop being dramatic. I didn't. You just made me climb up a 20 foot wall <laughs> and I cut my knee climbing up it. <laughs> it wasn't a wall, it was like a cliff. <laughs> I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> I, cut, I haven't had a cut knee for a long time.
Right, that's sort of the background. I like this the way it's flared. And, and now <laughs> I'm going to do some, um, I'm going to make the orchids look like orchids. I will. <coughs> oh, thank you, Charlie. <coughs> thank you, Minnie. Um, it needs to sort of dry. I might get my dryer on it quick and then, um, even though I don't like letting it dry with the background, because I like the paint to do its thing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I, I need to dry it so I can start putting in the shadows. And it will dry lighter, so I will be coming back in with an overpainting. I don't know, I've gone, gone a bit like tight. Sorry about the noise because I use this huge thing. <laughs> I don't want to lose that there. I'll just try and dry where I want to paint the details in, like the centres of the flowers. You can hear me over there. for sale if I like it it will be all right <laughs> I might sell it and I might not <laughs> right now I'm going to uh, make these look a bit like um, a bit more like a uh, orchids so um i'm going to use the yucky color and um just start by trying to define where the petals go you might see me licking my brush a bit and i apologize in advance Oh, when I like have a hard edge, I make hard edges, <laughs> not um, when you use masking fluid, you have to really scrub in at it. That's why I don't use masking fluid that often. You have to think whether it's worth just painting and using the, um, the weight of the paper and painting carefully or taking the time to blend them out and that so they're not that obvious later <laughs> bye Stephen have a good day hope you don't have the audits in today now that might be, be a bit harsh yeah, I just, just lick my brush. I'm putting a tissue here, so I try not to lick my brush. I'm a terrible brush licker when it comes to doing this. <laughs> yeah. Right, now, um, orchids have some, like, veins going through them. I've been studying them carefully. And for this, I like to use a po pointy thing. You can use any pointy thing. You don't need one of these. And if you catch the paper just at the right time, it makes darker lines where you score into the paper. So there's one leaf of a white flower. It doesn't look like it's white, but it is. I'm going to blot it out of it because it is a bit dark. <laughs> now this is the middle of that one. So I'm going to like flit around. It might be a bit weird. <laughs> I'd be flitting, flitting around like a little fly doing, jumping from one to the other, which might be a bit off-putting for some people. It's like, just stay still and get one thing done, but it's not like that with me. Life's not like that with me. <laughs> just flit around. I can't stay, I get bored doing one thing. Right, this is the 
the petal to this orchid here, the bottom petal. And I don't like the way the, the edge is. It's got a hard edge there that's not. I'm sort of getting rid of a hard edge here, mainly. You can see it, it's not too hard. And then I just blend it out. Blend, 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 blend. So do you think, yeah, it's been there all the time. <laughs> and then this petal comes down and right. And so you can see it sort of goes like that. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I wanted to keep this side a bit lighter. I'll just blend that in a bit. I don't want any hard lines like that, so I'm going to squish it out. It's been so windy here again, but my roof is fixed. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about the... Um, Yeah, and if you do buy this painting, it would go towards my roof costs. <laughs> I do have other paintings for sale on my website, which is michellepearl.com. But I sell my watercolours on Etsy. And I will be putting more work up on it. Hopefully today, if the weather's nice, I want to take some nice pictures of some of my work. The middle of that one i just wanted to make it a bit more in your face in your face that's the edge of the petal sort of curling over <laughs> Bye, Kim. Have fun on your new mattress. <laughs> right, this was this is a bit of a fluke here, okay? This is not planned. This is what I like about watercolour painting. See that light bit here? I can see this sort of petal that comes around here, and that's the foldy over bit. And it sort of painted painted it for me, and then this is the one behind it. So I'm going to make use of my fluke <laughs> this always work, works well with this sort of painting you can start start seeing things and it sort of just happens and it's good <laughs> and people go oh that's so good how did you do that and I'm like yeah well I just sort of I don't know <laughs> it just sort of happened <laughs> just sort of happens like that you see and it's good let me put some shadow under where it's folded over and then some shadow on the one behind it and then you can see what I mean <laughs> this is where I start sort of overworking things but it seems to work for this Put little detail bits in the middle of this. I'm trying to keep it loose, but I'm, when I start doing, um, <laughs> when I start negative painting, I start getting a bit tight. But then sometimes it's a good thing. It's good looking at it on um, the computer screen as well because then I can see things. I don't think I would have seen that petal if I wasn't looking at the. 
the screen. Right, this is that big petal that comes down here from the big from the big mother in the middle. <laughs> this one. Let's just do the See, I told you I flit around a bit much. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to do it really dark here so you can... Blend it out a bit. That's that one. I don't like how this has made that scooty bit down there. It's a bit distracting. Oh, don't lick your brush. <laughs> this needs some. I'll be forever fiddling with this. I get fiddly when it's like... <laughs> Does that look okay? Oh, I don't know. Put a bit of shadow in here. Stop fiddling, let's see. Just get on with the other one. <laughs> I've done words with myself sometimes. Remember to try and keep some soft edges as well because you want soft and hard edges and whatever. <laughs> this one is um, this flower here and then it's got like the flower petal. What's that big bit that goes around there? It's good when you start painting the shadows. The it just sort of starts to come to life. Zingy. Zingy, zingy. I want that to dry so I can do some like veins over the top. Some of that nice green. Where's that? This one, dusk, dusk yellow. I'm impressed I'm remembering the names of the <laughs> the colours. So I start saying something and then I forget to finish it. <laughs> Maybe I'll finish it, I'll finish words in my head. I don't like this here because this is the shape of the orchid petal. They have quite prominent shapes. So let me get rid of that bit. Do that bit really dark. I'm not sure where that one went around there. Right, there, okay. I'm getting somewhere now. Let's <laughs> do some. I love how it's really grainy as well. <laughs> oh, thank you, Melanie. The butterfly. <laughs> right, let's put a bit of darker green. I'm trying not to use that dusk yellow too much because it's really dark. And then that petal comes up. Sometimes I lose what, what I've done. <laughs> So you see me like going like this. It's like I call it. Um, I'm not sure. Pretend drawing. I go like that with my brush before I commit <laughs> to the um, actual painting. 
Right, this petal comes down and around now. Like that. So I'm sort of in the shady bit. Let's work on this one down here. <laughs> Just leave that one for a minute. I'm not sure what's happening around here, this area. So, and this needs to dry a bit so I can do some. Let's blot that out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got quite good muscle memory when it comes to um, drawing because I can just draw stuff and I remember. I mean, it's true, if you practice drawing loads, when I was like a kid, um, I was painfully shy. I never went out or did anything. All I did was like sit in my bedroom and draw. I used to draw Disney characters all the time. Just copy them, not tracing, but I got to a point where I could just draw them from memory, like exact, and it's, it's it's true. If you do something enough, you can remember. And today, still, I can um, still paint things. I'm trying not to give them all the same detail. It's like painting these orchids, the ones I did from the other day. It's sort of like kept in my head. Now I've, now I've, um, <laughs> I will be back every Wednesday, well, almost every Wednesday, because if I'm not here, I won't be, but, um, yeah, I will be here <laughs> most Wednesdays now. Now I, I can, I, I was having a bit of, well, my camera break, I was a bit worried, like, thinking, oh, no, I can't do my live streams, but actually, it's easier on my iPad. <laughs> That's good, Charlie. Can you play, play the piano really well now? You just uh, when you're a kid, you can like pick up things easy, and um, it does sort of stick with you throughout your life. I think once you've learned something as a child. I mean, I just wanted to be an artist. From God. I just always wanted to be an artist to the point of I didn't want to do anything else. <laughs> and I am. So I couldn't, I thought, like, I couldn't not paint. For that. It's weird. It's a weird feeling. <laughs> this needs to be a little bit darker around here. Sorry, I licked my brush. Stop licking your brush. <laughs> you hear some weird noises. It's my guinea pig. Since the, the my other one died, kimchi died, and now it's just, just sushi. He's just on his own. Poor little fella. And they're quite, um, quite, uh, what do you call them? Sociable creatures. And he just talks to me all the time. <laughs> Shouts out for celery. I found out he's got a, a, um, taste for celery. I quite like it. It's his favourite. <laughs> so he shouts at me every morning until I give him his celery. He's had his celery this morning. So he should be a good boy now. Just make this petal look a bit more um, what do you call it? Because they have orchids Petals are really smooth-ish, unless you get the fruit runs. No, it doesn't give you an excuse not to try new things as an adult. <laughs> Even though you might find it a bit difficult. <laughs> 
or if I tried new as an adult, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of something now. Oh, I have tried to learn the guitar. That was a disaster. I'm, I don't think I'm musically um, musical. <laughs> musically musical. <laughs> I'd love to be. I'd love to be able to sing. My son's singing at the moment, and he's like, I hear him practicing, and that's really lovely. He can sing, and um, yeah, I'd love to be able to sing and play the guitar. <laughs> that would never happen. I sound like a strangled cat. I really do. Even that. I love I love singing. It doesn't stop me singing though. Yeah, so I sound awful. <laughs> oh, I don't think I, I la and languages is another thing I struggle with. I can't I can't learn languages. I'm sort of all right understanding languages, but speaking them, no. I think it's a confidence thing as well when you want to speak another language. I, I can understand, like, when I went to Germany, I could understand what people were saying to me, but I didn't have the confidence to talk back. <laughs> this is weird, but, you know. I just need to... This is annoying me that it's not smooth edge. Look better. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't stop me singing. <laughs> I sing all the time, especially when I'm painting and I've got my music on and I'm in the zone. And, um, yeah. <laughs> my son comes in and says, oh, my God. And then when, when I'm videoing, and I know I'm just videoing for the, um, the video, not the sound, I have music on and I'm singing and then I can play myself, play it back to myself and I'm thinking, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's terrible. Because I haven't got any close neighbours. <laughs> been at this like for 45 minutes now <laughs> still not ready I'm not happy yet it's like you know it's not it's not a I, I keep seeing where I've got to put darker bits just look touches it's not black it's that really dark green I'm putting in more prominent yeah. oh, I think you meant the I'm not quite sure how how I managed it but yeah <laughs> I amaze myself sometimes. <laughs> I don't know, that's not dry enough to. I want to put some of them. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, should I? I should say, yeah, yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing, and it's exactly the look I was going for, and everything I did is intentional. No. Oh my god, that was a fluke. <laughs> Things never like end up how I expect them to look. This was going to be a really loose painting, but it's not turned out. <laughs> I'd love to go to Japan. It's on my bucket list. Right, let's 
move that. I've got splashes from the water. And this is the petal behind. Let's block that out a bit. I've gone, I've gone a bit too green, so it looks like it's the background. It's supposed to be the shadow. Let's get a bit of that grey in there, and then it will look better. Oh, pheasant in the garden. Your broken leg, poor thing. How did that happen? Did you get my notes? Pheasants are really dumb, though. <laughs> They're not the brightest of birds when it comes to um, roads and um, traffic and things like that. And even walking is a bit of a challenge for them. God knows how they fly. <laughs> I think that's why they're, they're so easy, easy to um, hunt, <laughs> to shoot. They just like, I don't know, they're bred for it, aren't they? I know it's an awful thing to say, but yeah. <laughs> I love pheasants though. I like painting pheasants. Maybe I should paint a pheasant in in honour of your broken leg one. Thank you, Charlie. Come back with a, a good painting. It's <laughs> I got bored of watercolour painting and then I sort I've sort of got um I do get bored easily. And I've been doing my other painting. And then when I come back to that, this, it's it comes back so easy. And the excitement for it's still there sometimes. <laughs> right, that's that one that's behind there, so it's darker. And the one in front. God knows where the light's coming from. It's usually a bit of a fluke as well. <laughs> All the best plans in that, they never go. go. I'm always amazed how things turn out sometimes. <laughs> oh, I don't know how much this painting is. Um, it would be in the. I don't like charging too much for my watercolors because <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I I should. I should charge more for them because I'm terrible. This one's 80 quid. What that works out in um, the American is US dollars, I don't know, because it's all, is it still really bad against the pound at the minute? Because I make more money out of it. Oh, that's good for me. I sell my. Um, patterns in uh, my textile design patterns in dollars and it's working out quite nicely at the minute. <laughs> I'm just going to like fray out the bottom of my brush. You see where I did that dark bit? I just want to like a bit dry brushing. Ooh, not the background. Go away. Just like that, just add a bit of depth. This needs a bit of darker here. There, so I've finished now, sort of. <laughs> I just wanted to um, like the frilly bit in the center of that one. I haven't done quite as 
I want it to, but never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's finished. I might let it dry and then I'll look at it later and I might add, I think this needs something to it, but looking at it on the screen, it looks okay. <laughs> it's not as good as what I did in my sketchbook. 113 US dollars. I'll just call it a hundred dollars if anyone wants to take it now. <laughs> you can PayPal me. Um, yeah. That would include the shipping, and the shipping to America is expensive, by the way. <laughs> so you get a bargain if you're in America. Yeah, so yeah, I think that's all my sort of finish. This one I did in the sketch, but the paper's different. And um, this is looser than that one. <laughs> I might paint some more actually today, I don't know. Yeah, do. <laughs> So I'll put this up on Etsy anyway when it's finished. Yeah, I don't know. Which one do I like best? I'm just sort of looking at it on the screen. This one's looser. Which is quite nice. And this one's a bit tighter, but it's still got the looseness. And it looks better looking at it on the screen for some reason. Maybe I'm just too close to it at the minute. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to do prints as well. I don't know, I might sort of, I'm going to, I need to sort out my selling strategy. Because <laughs> I've got so many watercolours that I've done that I need to sell. And I haven't got them up anywhere for sale. It's the same with my other work as well. I don't put stuff up for sale. And I'm going to. Oh, thank you, Charlie. Yes, countless hours of painting. I like been painting every day for years and years and years and years and years and years, nearly every day for years. Yes. I like orchids. They look a bit um, feminine. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Right. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I'm so glad it worked. Um, and I think I should be using my iPad for now, for future ones, so you can hear me okay, can't you? And the picture's good. And um, yeah, there's the first 10,000 hours. What is that about? If I practice something for 10,000 hours, I should be a master. I don't think I've got the, um, what do you call it, memory. <laughs> Hi Jake, bye Jake. Yeah, what do you call it? I've forgotten. Oh, I've been in funny five minutes now. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a coffee. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And I will see you next Wednesday for sure. For my watercolour Wednesday. And I will see you later. And I don't know how to stop this because it's different. Okay, bear with me. I am saying goodbye. Goodbye. Have a lovely day, everyone. <laughs>